My name is Jen Shu. I'm an experimental jazz vocalist, composer, multi-instrumentalist, dancer, producer, and researcher. Uh, well, I began dancing uh, ballet at a very young age. Um, I think when I was five or six. And then I started playing piano and violin uh, age seven, age eight, and grew up very music and dance and theater oriented. And I didn't start singing until I was 12, actually. Um, and singing was kind of the, uh, the beginning of this, this long journey. I realized I had a tool that could really express um, not just my emotions, but I think touched people and made them maybe more in tune with their own emotions. As a child, I was raised in a very, I would say, non-diverse environment <laughs> in Illinois. And um, uh, not to say, you know, Peoria was the city I was, you know, raised and uh, did all my activities in. It was actually a very nurturing city for my artist artistic interests, um, but definitely, you know, I think as, as a lot of uh, people in uh, who are less well-traveled, um, they might have stereotypes about people from other countries. I understood that very clearly from a young age and immediately knew that I wanted to do something um, that could eradicate that kind of uh, prejudice. And uh, that's very, very underlying theme uh, in all my work. I think my work is striving toward building bridges between people, all different kinds of people from all, all different places and uh, walks of life. Uh, as I was growing up, uh, of course, Western classical music was the center of my world and, and of what I was hearing and what I loved to, to hear and listen to. My realization came around, I would say, after college. So through end of college and at, at Stanford to when I was, you know, venturing out into the world and I was uh, becoming like a jazz singer. And key mentors uh, definitely came from that, uh, the Asian improv community in San Francisco. And uh, Francis Wong, John Jang, Jenny Lim, these were all mentors for me uh, from this community. And they, uh, they really gently pushed me <laughs> to, to look inward to find my voice and uh, and what I love about jazz is that you know the ens the essence I believe the uh, the core of jazz is is finding your individual voice and um, so that was further uh, emphasized when I met Steve Coleman the saxophonist composer and uh, he was much more pushy <laughs> in terms of you know, Jen, you have to, you know, what are you going to contribute to the world? Are you just going to be a, you know, Chinese looking girl um, singing like Sarah Vaughn? You know, is this really what you want to do? And, um, you know, and of course I said, no, I do, I do want to make a contribution. I do want to, you know, give something that's completely from me. And, um, and so, yeah, this started. I had an instinct to go to Taiwan, uh, following the music, again, following the music of my ancestors. I had this instinct that um, through the music I would discover myself and, and kind of who I am, what I, what I am doing in, in this Western society and what my role is as well. So 2003, that was, the, that was the beginning when um, kind of those two forces from Francis and from Steve, they were, they were 
encouraging me, just saying, go, you know, if you have an intuition about this, go, just go over there. Don't wait for a grant, just go, <laughs> go to Taiwan. And that was the beginning of this great, great journey.